Hello, I'm Miss Rochelle, and welcome to the Hewitt Public Library Baby Time. This week, we're talking about vocabulary. This is one of the early literacy skills. Uh, so we are continuing the series. We've already talked about print motivation, print awareness, letter awareness, phonological awareness, phoneme awareness, and we did one on picture books. And so we're almost um, through with the series. We have vocabulary this week, and next week we'll talk about narrative skills. Um, but with vocabulary, it's just what it sounds like. It is knowing the names of things, uh, the vocabulary associated with different concepts, feelings, and ideas. And so, uh, books, when we're reading books to our babies, books have words in them that we don't use in everyday conversation. So, it is good to read as many books as you can with your baby. Um, don't worry about whether or not your baby is understanding what you're reading. That is okay. They learn language and they learn to read by being exposed. And so the richer the vocabulary, the more words they will learn to say, the more words they know to say, the easier it will be to read those words later in life and to understand the meaning of those words. So one of the things that you can do with your child is to narrate what is happening. And so it can be as simple as when you're talking about changing your baby's diaper, I'm changing your diaper, let's get dressed for the day, this is your shirt, give me your arms, those kind of things. Just talking about what is happening, talking about what you're doing, talking about what your baby is doing. And if you're going for a walk, talking about what you see. So just narrating what is going on around you, um, even in the simplest of activities, is very important for your baby. And this exposes your baby to um, a rich vocabulary. Um, and then the other thing that we've been doing that continues to be important, I feel like I say this every week, but for a different reason, but the finger plays that we do, the, the lap bounces, the rhyming, that's important for vocabulary as well as it has been important for so many of the other things we've talked about. So continue to do those. Learn new rhymes and bounces. You can change the wording in them. Have fun with them. These are entertaining for your child. Uh, the ones that you're doing repetitively they will soon memorize, and then that adds all of these different skills and to their literacy development. Uh, so just continue doing those, introduce new ones, and then keep the old ones around because repetition is important for your child. And so today I have five books that I'm going to introduce. This one is An Anatomy Primer, Frankenstein. And so, as you go through this book, you are identifying body parts. So, head, this has a anatomy lesson of the entire body where you can point. Eyes, mouth, body. So, the books I've chosen today are specifically centered around vocabulary. But remember that as you're reading these books, you can point to the picture and describe the picture. And when you point, and if you take your child's hand and point, then you're also introducing other skills, such as joint attention and some of those other things. If you're talking about their eyes or their mouth, you're introducing social emotional learning. And all of this, is the vocabulary that your baby needs. And so you can be very literal with the book and simply point eyes and go to the next page, mouth, and go through the book that way, or you can discuss the picture. And then once you've read a book, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. And as you're reading other picture books or going through your day, use some of that vocabulary that you introduced with the book. So for example, this is a football book. 
So I chose this one because so many of us are watching football games, going to football games, and um, those sort of activities, whether we have older children or we like to watch a college game or a pro game, but many of us are um, involved with the football season. So this one is my first football book. And you go through, and again, these books are very specific to vocabulary. It's why I chose these. And so, don't feel like you have to read the whole book. You can just point to a few pages. And it's okay that your baby doesn't understand what you're talking about. So, if you're talking about a running back, and you start talking about a football game, it's okay to talk about a play that you saw last week in the game, or... The ref didn't make the call that you thought. You can say whatever you want about these pictures, and that is introducing the vocabulary for your baby. It's okay that they don't understand all of it or any of it. You are still making headway with vocabulary and improving their vocabulary and just introducing them to words that you might not otherwise say at all with your baby and um, because of the fact that it's, over their head right now so you may never say that with them but this will get you talking about things that you don't otherwise talk about and then again as you go through your um your activities maybe you're at a football game you can think of some of the words that were in the book and just include those in the conversation as you're narrating what's going on in the game for your child this one is a bilingual vocabulary book and so, as you go through it, it has nice, big, bold pictures, and it has the word, the vocabulary word for you in English and in Spanish. And so, that is um, a good one to use, not, especially if you're in a bilingual family, but even if you're not, because it exposes your child to vocabulary from other languages and just helps them to realize um, that other languages exist and just gives them a little bit more information about language in general. This one is big and small. And so it's just like the name sounds, it's showing you the lion, the cat. And so you can talk about the lion is bigger than the cat, the apple, the seed, big and small. And it just gives you sample after sample going through the book of big and small. So this is a, a vocabulary book. This is also a concept book. So words like big and small, those are important vocabulary words, all of those descriptive words. And so think about those as you're describing pictures, as you're narrating what's going on throughout the day. If you cut up some strawberries and give them to your child, you can talk about the bite that's big, the bite that's small, and just introducing those type of words is, is very important as well. And then this last book, Sense and Sensibility. This is a book of opposites. So you have big, little, hard, soft, and so, uh, this introduces another concept when it comes to vocabulary that you can begin to include as you're talking about the activities that you're doing with your child and doing the narration for your child. Uh, let's see. I think that's all of our parent tips. I have um, two rhymes for you today. And the first one, they're both um, lap bounces. Um, we've been concentrating on the bounces lately. It really helps your child feel the rhythm of the language. And so this first one is on a city bus. And so the older your child is, the more vigorous you can be with the bounces and the more exaggerated you can do the movements. Or if your child is very young, you might be holding your child close and just very small movements. Uh, but this does introduce some vocabulary and gives them that rhythm of language. So, a hip, a hip, a hip, a pot, a mess, got on, got on, got on the city bus, in all, in all, 
and all the people said, you're squishy, and you give your baby a hug. And so the next one is a cow. And so there's a little bit of play on words also with the animal and the sound that they make in the next two verses. So a cow, a cow, a cow got on the bus, got on, got on, got on the city bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, move over. And you can lean your baby to the side and exaggerate the movements depending on the age of your child. And then the last one that we're doing, um, the last verse for this one, we're doing a sheep, a sheep, a sheep, got on the city bus, and all, and all, and all the people said, back up. And so you back up your baby. And so that is the first one that we're doing. And then the second one is has a little bit of movement with it that, um, again, depending on the age of your child, you might be picking your child up, but if they're very young, then you can keep them in your lap securely. So this one helps them with movement and vocabulary in terms of up and down um, and body parts. So reach for the ceiling touch the floor. If you have an older child, you might actually do this on the floor where they can touch the floor. If you have a very young child, you can put their hands down and say touch the floor or you could say touch your toes. So reach for the feet and um, reach for the ceiling. Touch your toes. Stand up again. Let's do some more. Touch your head, then your knee up to your shoulders like this you see reach for the ceiling touch your toes that's all for now there isn't any more and so those are two bounces that you can do with your baby i hope you have a good week and we'll see you next week thank you